Greetings everybody, welcome back to another tutorial, so in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to save, not in Multimedia Fusion 2 I'm afraid, because I'm using Click Team, whoops, I'm using Click Team Fusion 2.5, and in Click Team Fusion 2.5 it is so much easier to save, all, well, all you have to do is, you, on every sort of, um, frame, uh, nearly, nearly enough every sort of frame, you have to have an any counter. So, any. So, let, let, let's just. Uh, I'm just gonna put a string called. Uh, uh, hi. And um, I also need a counter as well. And this is going to be called um, night count. Actually, no, no, not not in this one, not on this frame, but on the menu frame. I'm going to need an any, any counter. Call that night. There we go. And uh, on night one, night two, night three, night four, night five. Um, yeah. Although you don't have actually, no, yeah, you do have to have an any on all of them. Or otherwise, it really, really won't work. Right. Let's just put an any on all of them. There's not going to be any sort of like cuts or anything like that in this video. Because I need you to see it all. Night counter. Alrighty, all them. Uh, then night two. <sighs> night three. Whoops. Night four. Night five. I should really put them all into the uh, frame. Why? Why is this so slow? Have you noticed how slow it is? No. Oh. Well, pity you. My joking. <laughs> I don't know what I am saying. Right. So this is called night counter. Right. I need to rename these to night counters. So night counter night counter Oh wait whoops for freaking hell what what night counter last but not least night counter. So if you can hear it's like crackling, that was me. <laughs> Lol. So now what you need to do is just add in the innies. Alright, so in the And there we go. Right, you've added in the innies now. So what I tend to do is I tend to do this. So uh, start of frame, uh, set any to uh, file uh, ghost. Let's just call it ghost because logs. File ghost. Set current group uh, ghost one. And then and then if you want to do like cutscenes or whatever. Uh, like the Return to Freddy's three and four, I think. What you actually, actually no, no. What what that what they would do is uh, something different actually. But um, if you want to automatically um, have uh, something appear in uh, the menu, then what you need to do is uh, do this. So. Uh, special special conditions compare two general values and then find your any counter which is right here uh, get value or item or get, get value item whatever 
and do it as level. I do it always as level because I can. So if the item value of level equals zero, then set value of an item to level one. Basically, start uh, w when the frame starts, it will set the uh, it will make a file in here called ghost. See as you see over here, like I've got a lot of these files, like Freddy one, Freddy two, Freddy three, Final Fantasy Freddy's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, FN four is Final Fantasy four if you want to know, but yeah, um, that will make a f that will make a, a file like these ones, but call it Ghost instead. And what we're basically doing is uh, we're we're adding one to an item which is contained in a file. So let's just see so yeah, that. That just happens. Oh, whoops! Didn't mean to do that. So now, look, see, ghost it was not there before. Ghost. So now, open up with Notepad, and see, look, level equals one. That's how you start a saving mechanic system thingy, majiggy. And now all you need to do is just like do every one second, then. Uh, jump to the next frame. <laughs> um, <coughs> menu. If, uh, oh yeah, also in this, in every single frame you have to do start of frame, set current file to ghost, and then uh, you have to do the exact same thing what you did on uh, your other frame. You have, to you have to rename it to the exact same thing. So, file to ghost and group to ghost one, and on warning, I did uh, current file to ghost and current group to ghost one. So you have to do the exact same thing on every single frame. So now start a frame, set the uh, night counter to your any counter, get value of an item, level. So now, let's just bring this into the frame. So as you can see, it says zero. You would think it would say zero, but it's going to say one because you've um, you've added one to your any value in that any file. If that makes any sense, probably doesn't. But now, what you need to do is um, if uh, mouse clicks on an object. Uh, new game. Yeah, that does say new game. Hopefully, um, then jump to uh, night one uh, and set uh, level. Also to one because it's night one, obviously. But if um, if the uh, night counter is equal to one, then uh, set power. Yeah, I've got this. Um, I've got a string uh, right here, night one. And if you click on it and go over to here, property string, and then go over to here, settings, you've actually got separate paragraphs. And on paragraph one, two, three, four, I've got night two, three, four, five. So then, if the night counter equals to one, then set the string paragraph to night one, and if it equals to night two, then set paragraph to night two. You you basically get the gist of it, don't you? If you don't, then I have no idea what you're smoking. You're probably smoking weed, but I don't want to know that. <laughs> go so now when they call uh, stuff then stuff and stuff will stuff <laughs> but if um, user clicks on uh, active two which is continue 
which is this active right here, and the counter equals one, because if there are two um, objects, um, yeah, two objects on one event, it will check one object. It will check one condition, and then it will see what the other condition is, and if if you do um, like since I'm doing user clicks with left button on continue if I click on continue it will uh, check what else is on the condition and since it equals one then it will check one and to see if it's correct and if it is then it will go to uh, night one but if it's not correct then it won't do anything I don't know if, that, if I explained that well but I hope I have so then if it equals to two and then jump to night one as well uh, no, 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 no. then jump to night two when counter equals three and jump to night three obviously uh, four then can then jump to night four and then five jump to night five so now when uh, night equals one then uh, star frame um, set current file to ghost so current group to ghost one and then obviously set counter to um, Wait, what was it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I, just, I just remembered. <laughs> Lol. Uh, level. And if uh, mouse clicks, if just use the clicks, and, and, if the counter is equal to one, then set item value to level Two, and then just do that for all of the other frames and uh, uh, just say like when um, item but when the night counter is equal to two then set it to three just just do that and then I'll be back in a minute right I am back after a long while so let's just run the frame so hi uh, counter equals one new game oh don't, don't do what what why isn't new game what what why isn't the new game working? The hell? Active? Yes. Jump to night one? Yes. Why, why isn't the new game working? I don't get what? I don't get that. I, why isn't it working? Jump to frame one? Yes. Okay, finally. Right. So now. Yep, uh, I've clicked on new game and it it set the item value of level to one, and the and the counter has contained the value of one from the count of the any level thing. So now it's got uh, so now it's one. So now oh wait yeah I just remembered I need to actually uh, use the clicks of left button goes back to uh, menu uh, night two goes back to main menu uh, right night three goes back to main menu four goes back to main menu night five main menu okay finally Right, hi. Okay, so new game. So now it equals one. Uh, night one, two. Night two, three. Night three, four. Night four, night uh, five. Night five, six. There we go. Basically, um, that that's how the any works. So now, uh, yeah. So if the, uh, so if night counter equals one, then set paragraph to them. 
if user clicks on active two, which is continue and uh, not and not and counter equals one, which is night one, then jump to night one, counter equals two, night two, counter equals three, night three, counter equals four, night four, counter equals five, night five. But when it comes to the actual nights, um, I, I made it so if if I clicked with left button anywhere on the frame and the uh, counter equals one, which is night one, then set value to the uh, of the any to level two and then jump to uh, jump back to menu and what what that will do is set the level to two so that make so that it can make me go to night two. And then same with this, any equals two, use the clicks, goes back to menu, and then set value three. Basically that's how you do it. So uh, if you still don't understand and try not to learn it yourself, I'm gonna save it as a uh, any tutorial. Save it as any tutorial so that you guys can actually learn from it. But I hope you enjoyed this like sort of uh simple tutorial it can be quite simple but it's also kind of confusing as well but i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please do not forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more awesome tutorials to do with f and a f i might um i might do actual 2d platform tutorials if i can because i'm i'm still kind of used to finance of freddy's tutorials but if i can actually get into 2d platformer tutorials and stuff then I'll give you tutorials as well, as well about that. But but for now, uh, I'll do tutorials about F and A F. So yeah, thank you for watching, and see you all later.